I'm Joe here with Project Geospatial, and here we have Shaker Provoker with Sea Edge. So, tell me a little about a little bit about yourself and how you got into geospatial. Sure. Sea uh, Edge is a software consulting firm. Mm -hmm. I started in 2004. So initially, we were focused on doing commercial work, but. Uh, we, we started looking at opportunities in the federal sector because that is what um, you know you lack here in terms of uh, opportunities. So we got into federal sector. So as I was uh, into federal sector, I found NGA to be a very uh, nice agency where there are plenty of opportunities, cutting edge technologies um, that you could be involved with. So that's how I got involved and we started pursuing some opportunities within NGA. Currently, we do some work at the NGA um, and looking forward to grow the industry here and especially with all the support we are getting in St. Louis. Uh, we feel good about it. Yeah. Great. And you were just mentioning how you, know, you were trying to cultivate a kind of geospatial culture here in St. Louis and kind of grow the workforce here. And can you talk a little bit about that and how you're trying to go about that? Sure, I mean, it comes from what I have seen in Silicon Valley too that uh, whenever there is an opportunity, we have to build upon it. Mm -hmm. So uh, oftentimes I quote this example of um, you know, young children, you know, parents, they want to be there for the baseball games, they want to cheer them, mm -hmm. and they do everything possible. Why can't it be done in industries like this where there is a good possibility? So initially I got involved, I was one of the co-chairs for St. Louis Working Group we put together. So we used to have people come in and join and learn about opportunities within the geospatial uh, industry. They did not even know a whole lot of uh, details about NGA. So we had to uh, prepare slides, go to the neighborhoods, start explaining them about the new campus coming up and how their kids, when they grow up in another five years, who are juniors and seniors in the college, could be eligible for opportunities around and how cutting edge opportunities are just next door for them. So uh, that was the initial start. We, we are really uh, overwhelmed with what we are seeing today. Uh, it started with 30, 40 people, and then it grew to schools and you know into the industry here. Um, now local, everybody is aware of the geospatial industry, and today we see this geospatial symposium here, GeoInt. Um, it, it, it really uh, makes you feel good. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So what is your company trying to get out of the symposium here now that it's in St. Louis? Uh, symposiums are a great way to meet uh, with agencies and learn. So oftentimes when um, uh, you get to reach out to agency, they, it is difficult to get to certain uh, folks within the agency to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, here you can have some of the conversations. You can learn about the future because those opportunities have not come in. So you understand that you know what is in store for you in future and where exactly you fit in so that you can plan for because you, you have to have a plan to go from, okay, what am I doing here? Uh, how it will fit into that future plan? So that's why we watch out today. Admiral Sharp was talking about the data strategy they put together. So it's very important to uh, know what's in there uh, for the next few years so that you can plan how this work fits in. But at the same time, um, it's not just about one agency. The similar technologies exist in other agencies and it's a good opportunity that you can take this into other um, industries and agencies as well. So, Absolutely, yeah. definitely. So where do you see Sea Edge moving now in these next couple of years along with that? Um, I have a great plan for Sea Edge. I put a good strategic growth plan uh, for Sea Edge. And in fact, I brought some of uh, exceptional folks on my advisory board members. Uh, my former boss, uh, Scott McNeely, co-founder of Sun Microsystems, he has joined my board. And a well-known um, entrepreneur and a successful businessman, Jerry Kent. Um, who is well known in St. Louis, is on my advisory board, and Cardinals baseball <laughs> president Bill DeWitt is on my board. So I planned it in such a way that Sea Edge is not just about uh, uh, growing the revenue, but what kind of uh, company we want to be is to go ahead and be part of the ecosystem, help um, build that ecosystem here, working with local organizations, schools, uh, universities, so that we can look for a bright future along with them and, and give back to the community, but at the same time, continue to focus on innovation um, and look for more talent, and that is a big problem here. So workforce development is going to be a challenge. When you have big plans, you need to have deeper foundations. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So is there anything else that we haven't covered that you would like to get out there about CH? Um, I, I would just like to say that, you know, uh, what is happening is here, but just it's not about CH I look for, um, how to create opportunity for more businesses so that, uh, I will say this though, you know, if you go down a path, you know, you're looking for directions and, and it takes time to get in there for the first time, but then next time it's easy. But the same thing can happen with other businesses. Mm. Hey, here is the path I've taken, here is the things that you can do to be successful. That, that's my goal. It's not just about being uh, the top company out here or anything, but it's just about making sure we have other businesses also we can partner with so we can all grow together, build together, make St. Louis a great place. Absolutely, collaboration is the key. Yeah. So can you tell the people how they can reach out to you? And uh, yeah, uh, CH Software Consultants, you can find it on website. It is www.chcorp.com. And uh, if you Google my name, probably you'll find my email address too. Not, not, none of the information is secure these days. <laughs> uh, it's uh, shaker at chcorp.com. Uh, I'll be more than happy to respond. And uh, if they can put something in the subject line which says about this geo and that will help me, that I'm not receiving a spam email. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> of course. Well, thank you.